Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip. In this one, I'm gonna be going over something really simple and that's an updated list of all of the best Premiere scripting resources. So a lot of people come to me with questions about Premiere scripting, if things are possible, where I learned and that kind of thing. Um, I've made a video about how to teach yourself, but this video will go into a slightly more depth about the actual new and updated resources that are available and the ones that are built onto your computer most likely as well. And if you haven't already, make sure down below you go to our Instagram page, NT Productions IG, and follow us. And there you'll be updated of when new tutorials are coming out, uh, lots of behind the scenes things, and even input on tutorials. So moving right into this quick tip, essentially there are three resources that you want to use to learn Adobe Premiere scripting. The first of which is of course, Extend Script itself. It has the awesome built-in uh, object model viewer, which is not available, unfortunately, in Visual Studio Code. So if you go to Help and Object Model Viewer, you'll see all the built-in classes and things. And if you hit the drop-down, you can go down and see your version of Adobe Premiere. Now you can see I only have 2017 and 2018, but this will read any version installed on your computer. So if you have the newest versions, 2019 or 2020, it will include those, which actually include a lot of things that aren't in the older versions. Once you've selected what version you have, you can go through and see all of the classes and all of the things basically documented and automatically read by the object model viewer. So you can see what a track is, what uh, data you can get from it, and what you can do to manipulate it, as well as what arguments that takes. You can go through and see all of the different item types and make decisions about what is possible and what you can do. The next two resources will be in the description as they are links to online. And the first of which is the Adobe CEP samples, which is actually for extensions, but it has a ton of Adobe Premiere code built into it. It has a lot of the functions you can find inside of the object model viewer and uses them as an example. So if I scroll down here, you can see we have things like creating sequence markers. We can search for a bin with a certain name, import files, and this is literally just a couple thousand lines of code with all of the built-in functions that are included in Adobe Premiere scripting. And it has practical examples which will mostly help you find the way. The last is this Adobe Premiere Pro scripting guide, which is organized not in a PDF format, but in this sort of um, tiered list. It's very similar to the object model viewer in that it has each of the different objects here. So I can click on the project and see all of the attributes within it that I can have access to. And then if I keep scrolling down, I can see the methods or things that we can do to initiate actions like creating a bin, creating a smart bin, and all that type of thing. So for example, uh, one way I could use these in tandem is if I clicked on the encoder object here, it looks like we can launch Adobe Media Encoder from inside uh, Premiere. So if I wanted to say, oh look, we can encode a sequence um, and it needs a couple of arguments. So if I copy this method, encode sequence, and I go back to this GitHub page with the uh, Premiere Pro uh, panel example, and I just do a page search for encode sequence, I can go down and find in the code the actual example it uses, which will actually help me learn what arguments to give it and make sure that I'm giving it the right data and figure out how to make it work. So yes, just go through the object model viewer inside of Extend Script, this Premiere Pro samples example on GitHub, as well as this Premiere Pro guide, which will probably include more updated stuff if you don't have Extend Script. That's going to do it for this week's quick tip tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, be sure to follow us down on social media, GitHub and Instagram down below. Check out the links to these guides down below as well. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.